It's all intuitively done, no plans, no drawings. It's intuitively done one day at a time. This is not a building. It's a sculptural work. It is molded rather than constructed from the ground up. So he would arrive home at 5.30, eat dinner from 5.30 to 6, and start working religiously on these at 6 o'clock every day clear up through and beyond midnight. The neighbors would say the old man would appear at the one o'clock sometimes at night, still with the lantern, working hammering, <laughs> drinking wine, and singing Italian arias at the top of his lungs. <laughs> they showed Simon a picture of Gaudi's Towers, La Familia in Barcelona, Spain, and asked, had you ever seen these? Were you inspired by them? Simon looked at the picture, no, but they look like mine. <laughs> Indeed, there's a strong resemblance in addition to the fact that they're both religious structures. But after a moment's hesitation, Simon raised his head and asked, but did he have help? <laughs> said, oh yes, Gaudi had a lot of help. In fact, he's still working on that for me. Well, I did mine all by myself. Nobody helped me. But in 1954, he's still up there climbing, making repairs now, and he fell. And we don't know from how high a height, but he hit the cement. He didn't destroy himself, but he did fracture a hip bone in 1954 at 75 years of age. That made him declare that I'm through now because I can't climb anymore. The noted architect and scientist Buckminster Fuller, you might be familiar with the name, Bucky Fuller. But Bucky visited these and spent a whole morning examining them and left declaring that Simon Rodier will be remembered as one of the great sculptors of the 20th century. Buckminster also declared that had he been formally trained, he never could have built this. It escapes all normal construction rationale. Buckminster declared Simon Rodia to be an intuitive genius of a man, and certainly we concur with that assessment.